Hi everybody, welcome to our latest video. Really pleased to be able to show you today this absolutely fabulous Ducati Monster 796, otherwise known as the M796. Now this particular bike is a 2012 62 plate and she's covered just 5,800 miles from new. And if you like your bikes to uh, to also be a piece of art, then uh, I think these Ducati monsters have um, have got to tick the box for a lot of people. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike with the uh, not quite under seat, but certainly raised carbon exhausts. Now this particular bike, as I say, just four years old with 5,800 miles, um, recently came into us as a part exchange. But upon closer inspection you'll see that there's some absolutely beautiful accessories on this bike. So let's just do a quick walk around. First and foremost you can see we've got carbon SC project exhausts. And you can probably make out that the baffles have been removed for the time being. They sound absolutely glorious and I'll start her up for you in just a moment so you can hear that for yourself. see we've got a pillion cover there as well these absolutely beautiful machined CNC racing rear sets this is obviously the uh, rear brake side I'll take you around to the other side of the bike you can see the gear lever assembly there and the foot pegs absolutely lovely bit of kit moving up to the front of the bike now this is where things get interesting it's kind of a cafe racer style but it really really works so the previous owners actually removed the uh, the standard monster bars and replaced them with clip-ons expensive bits of uh, equipment these but it, as I say it really really works so we've got clip-ons we've got Magazzi mirrors and we've also got these adjustable anodized levers both sides as well. And I have to say, you know, for those of you that know your Ducatis, it has the result of turning the 796 Monster into possibly the bike that the 900 Supersport should have been. Um, I don't know, it just works ergonomically, the riding position, uh, the feel. Um, just just everything seems to work but of course we do have all the standard equipment should you wish to turn it back to a conventional monster but I think both visually um, and certainly on the road riding it it uh, it really works so furthermore we've got RNG engine case covers on the right hand side and we've just recently added what we think are absolutely stunning EBC, they're called V brake discs, uh, as you can see the wavy design and they are literally brand new and not yet bedded in and again on the left side of the bike if you can see in the uh, glare of the sunlight But the piece to the resistance with this bike, and I, I guess the reason that makes it feel like a, a 900 Super Sport, but as I say, the, the bike that that should have been, certainly for the road, um, is this expensive and absolutely fabulous Maxton suspension. The previous owners spent over £1,200 on this, uh, as you can see, a substantial rear shock and spring assembly. Fully adjustable, of course, and whilst you can't actually see them, you can see from the sticker on the front forks, we've also got Maxton fork internals. So that turns what uh, what is otherwise a, a sort of fairly cheap and entry level set of Marzocchi forks, um, coupled with that rear shock, 
it makes this 796 monster a real weapon it's, it's literally it's like riding on a magic carpet even on our uh, horrible bumpy potholed UK roads okay I'll just start her up for you I'm sure there's something I've forgotten on the accessory list because she's got lots of other bits and bobs as well but you can see as she runs for her instrument panel check 5,846 miles and that's what a monster air-cooled V-twin sounds like with SC Project exhaust So just while the bike's warming up, um, there is one aspect of the bike that uh, we're unable to show you at the time of doing the video. Um, but if you'd like to scroll down to previous monsters we've sold, we're also awaiting from Skid Marks a colour-coded belly pan, which fits lovely, fits perfectly underneath the, uh, the stump and the um, and the exhaust front valve. Uh, Bow head assembly, etc. Um, so that should be with us in the next few days. So we'll update the photos accordingly when that's done. So I'll just give this a little uh, flip of the throttle just so you can hear these lovely SC Project Ignore. There you go. In my opinion, that's how a Ducati should sound, unleashing the you know the real sound and uh, and I, I guess beauty of um, of that air cooled V twin. Such an evocative engine, um, and also just to finish off, as you can see, adorning this absolutely gorgeous single sided swing arm mounted wheel, we've got a brand new set of Bridgestone BT016 Pros both rear and on the front there and just before I forget you can see we've got RNG racing front fork, fork protectors and also rear paddock stand bobbins as say mounted on that absolutely stunning rear wheel assembly so just to summarize she's a Ducati Monster 796 2012 on a 62 plate She's covered just 5,800 miles with a full service history, uh, including cam belts just replaced. Um, a list of accessories and uh, expensive upgrades, uh, too long for me to uh, repeat again. Have a look back through the video or, uh, or see the listing on our website, eBay or Facebook page uh, for the full spec list. And this particular bike is available at 5995. I hope you enjoyed the video.